it's like. So you're 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 you split from him when completely like cut ties with him. When was the last time you spoke to Diddy that you said that enough is enough? I spoke to Diddy three weeks ago. Damn. I spoke to him three weeks ago, and one of the things that this conversation that hurt me was. I had asked him, I said, yo, I need 25000 for my son to pay him. And he hit me and said, yo, I'm going through something. I don't have it. And then he hit me back and said, but I may need your help. So I'm thinking, okay, we getting ready to squash this thing with Diageo. Okay, we getting ready to take this daily on to another level. But then the next morning... Everybody's hitting my phone. Yo, you know Cassie got you in the lawsuit. Mm. So when he said, I need your help, he already knew that my name was in that lawsuit. I just never knew. Right. He knew for months that my name was in that lawsuit. But he didn't know how him asking me for help would come. But when I reached out to him and asked him for that money, I opened the door. I said, yo, listen. I said, yo, my exact words was this. I said, yo, I need $25,000 for my son appeal. He hit me back, said, yo, I'm going through something. I don't have it right now. He said, I may need your help. I said, okay, you know what it is. It's love and loyalty. And, he, and, he, and then he sent me the love sign. But when the next morning came and I seen the Cassie situation, I called him. And he was like, yo, B, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, yo, I'm happy you're going to speak your truth. You know what I'm saying? But not once did he mention anything about my son. So once again, it brought me back to the Diddy that I know. Even though you're going through X, Y, Z. So I try to, I try to say, God damn, he even got hit with all these lawsuits. The last thing he thinking about me. But for you not to even ask about my son lets me know. Barnes, it's time to wake up. You're going to be loyal to a fault again. Here you go again. But your son is in the same situation. He said, yo, I know you're going through a lot. I know you're going through a lot. That pressure's killing you. Yeah, that pressure's killing me. But you ain't mentioned nothing about this You feel pressure. like his back was a little bit against the wall and he was looking for a friend? If he was, he wouldn't say it. I feel like the only friend that Diddy actually really had was Andre Harrell. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like when Andre Harrell passed that he had no other friend. You got a lot of people that want to be his friend, but he's not going to trust that because of who he is. Why you want to be my friend? So he don't let people in the door. Right. People that probably could be good friends. He's not going to let them in the door because of everything that he went through. You know what I'm saying? So then he goes back to what he said before. I don't know how to be a friend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So even if he needs your help, he's supposed to be Diddy. He's the billionaire. He's the this, that, another. He's not going to tell you he need help. You know what I'm saying? Do you picture your name popping up anywhere else? Like, have you uh, have you uh, ever been in another situation where, you know, aside from Cassie, that you actually witnessed mm -hmm. the physical abuse? Well, like I said, I seen him and Kim go through it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Between him and Kim going through it, um, I've never really seen another woman. You know what I'm saying? I seen Kim go through it. I seen Cassie go through it. And basically, that's the only two that I seen go through it. And if you watch a lot of these interviews or you watch a lot of these lawsuits, it's not about abuse no more. It's about being drugged and sexual. So I've seen sexual things as far as different women and stuff like that, but I've never seen the dropping of a pill or anything like that. I'm looking at it as, yo, he's diddy. It's a bunch of people in here fucking and he's fucking. Now, how he got to fuck is the question that's being asked now. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not about them. Nobody has came forward and said that he was physically abusive. Everybody that's coming forward now is saying that I was drugged. And that's the part that I have the problem with, saying that you was drugged, but you enjoyed it and you had a good time. Because nobody I seen woke up in the morning and looked at the stroke. Because I would take him down, yo, 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 make sure she get in the car. Right. Or, yo, can you go drop her off? Or something like that. And, and I feel like I would have been able to detect that look. Like, I just need to talk to somebody right. or something. You know what I'm saying? I didn't see none of that. I seen everybody that was 
happy-go-lucky when they was leaving. You know what I'm saying? Because nine times out of ten, he's not walking them downstairs. He's not going to be the one drop them off. He's not going to be the one that walk them to the car. But like I said, we live together. So it might be like, oh, can you walk, yo, walk her to the car, yo? Take her out. Take her out. So I've never seen nobody like, and, and I look at them because they were some fine girls, you know, so I'm going to look. I've never seen no black eyes or no blood. The only ones that I've seen them go through with that was Cassie and Kim. And, and rest in peace to Kim. Yeah, rest um, in peace. Wow. You know no, what I'm it, saying? Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's, I'm sitting here listening to it. I'm like, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot going on. And there's obviously a lot of uh you know, there's 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 a lot of stories, but I can't imagine that it was all bad. Right? Like I I, I would I gotta I gotta think that, you know, Diddy is Diddy for a reason. Right. Right. Uh I, I believe you the way the way you paint yourself and the way you speak of your right. life and your upbringing, I believe there's a reason that you were loyal to Diddy for so long. There had right. to be good about him. Nah, nah, nah. There's there's great about him. You know what I'm saying? Because Cause I look at I look at everything that I've been through and I look at what he's been through. And you know, to say that, to say, like I said from the beginning of my conversation, when you from the streets, you love hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you love your dude. Like, yo, that's my nigga. I love him. You know what I'm saying? You can't live with somebody and stay with somebody for that long and don't say you love him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's 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 real. Like when you in you on private jets, you and you in these cities and you in these countries with uh with nobody but y'all too. You know what I'm saying? There's been times where, you know, Diddy might have to go to some type of program or some type of rehab or something. Who's going? I'm going. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm gonna go sit inside a resort for a week while he go through the rehabilitation stuff and all that. Cause he's tried to get help times for certain things. You know what I'm saying? And you be like, okay, I got your back. To me, those are things that that you love about a person. You know what I'm saying? When you when you escape, like it was a time when when uh Shug, right? And I was sitting in front of the Beverly Hills Hotel. And I seen Suge pull up and I hit my man. I said, yo, you know Suge getting ready to come in. And I watched Diddy, man. I watched him. And this was when I, I was like, yeah, that's my man. You know what I'm saying? Because he stepped right to Suge. He said, it was good. And then and him and Suge start talking. Suge said, nah, B, that was years ago. I ain't got no problem with you. I'm out here trying to do shit for the kids. You know what I'm saying? So Puff introduced us. You know what I'm saying? And Puff said, yo, B, I heard you was talking some shit about me, yo. And he said, nah, man. And Puff stood there and he said, yo, man, no matter what goes on next week, he said, you know that me and you was here today and we seen eye to eye on this. And we know no matter what, that, that what happened. And he said, nah, you right, you right, you right. So it's things like that and moments like that where I was like, yeah, that's my man. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's 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 so many different things, man. It's like Christmas time, it's trips. And then it's times where you see the vulnerability when a person gets sick. It's been times where I had to carry him into the hospital. You know what I'm saying? To me, those are things that meant everything. But to him, you learn that it's just part of the job. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like if you you were just an employee, you didn't, yeah. you didn't really value him. You didn't yeah. care. You know, it's just hey. like you did it because it's your job and because I'm paying you to do it. Exactly. And which is what you what you see a lot from people that have a problem trusting, right? You know, so it 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 is tough, right? You you see that, but there is a side. There's a world out there that believes that that's enough. He, he right. paid you. Right. And what else does he need to do for you? What do you want him to do? You know, hold your hand throughout your life and take care of all your situations. Yeah, but he don't pay you for the there. extracurricular. Mm. If if my job was from nine to five, I would agree everything. I would agree with you one hundred percent. But when you sitting in the studio, yeah, you gotta agree job, with me. There's the critics out nah, there. You yeah, know what the I'm critics. Saying? Yeah, I, I I would go for that if that's what it was. But when you got to get right, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a hundred dudes outside. And it's just you and him, or it's just you and your man and him. That's extracurricular. Absolutely. You know Has there saying? ever been a situation where you saved his life? 
I wouldn't say save his life. I wouldn't know that because his life is, is he still living. Yeah. So I would never know if I actually saved it. You know what I'm saying? Was I ready to die? Of course. You know what I'm saying? It was my man Ray Daniels, right? He had just, just um, DM'd me and he said, yo, Barnes, he said, man, I remember we was in 112. And he said, 112. yo. He said 50 BMF dudes came in here. And at this time, this was when Puff had a little problem with them because of the wolf situation. And he said, yo, you stood in front of him, yo. He said, yo, it was just you and him. And he said, you stood in front of him 10 toes down. He said, this ain't nothing somebody telling me, Barnes. He said, this is what I seen. You know what I'm saying? So, and, it, and I don't know if I saved his life because I don't know what would have happened. You know what I'm saying? It's been situations when certain individuals was outside. I don't know if I saved his life, but I know that I was willing to lose mine. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And to me, that was more important than anything. Absolutely. That That's definitely a big deal. Yeah. You know what I mean, to be there uh, for someone in... We don't know what would have happened. We don't know. He probably did save his life, right? right. There's, there's a lot of times that just an ass whooping could take someone's life. Right. You know, and, right. and, and the, the way it escalates after that, that's when the knives and the guns get pulled out. Exactly. You know, Elliot Wilson was here last night. I'm not sure if you're familiar, if you have ever met Elliot Wilson. No, nah, I didn't meet him, but I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, so he was telling me about a party he went to. Uh, salute, man. It's been, and it's been great so far. You know what I mean? And, uh,